Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? Just a quick Mandela video. Uh, um, I noticed on a couple of logos here. Um, first off, Atari. Uh, in this reality, apparently it's always had a broken R. I've asked a bunch of people on this one. Uh, they don't remember the broken R either. And uh, I want to like trace this real quick. And I'll show you. Well, actually, we'll compare it in just a second. Um, Okay, hold on. And it's always had that straight up and down line and then the two kind of curvy lines. It, it almost looks like a road uh, like going upwards. Um, so yeah, this, these are regular letters. The A is curved at the top. Uh, both A's. T is normal. Let's see. Tell me what you guys are remembering. If you're remembering this broken R, because I don't, this is ridiculous. They're messing with my Atari. It's been like that apparently since 1972 to 2003. So yeah, let me show you guys. Uh, hold on. Yeah, there it is. Does that look more like it? The completed R right there? Does that look more like it? That's what I'm remembering, guys. So anyway, um, next one up, we have Nice and Easy. This was sent in by Teresa Lynch. Uh, nice and easy, the N and I have been connected in this reality since at least 2006, believe it or not. I'm calling BS on that. Guys, anyone uh, who dyes their hair can maybe can help me verify this one, whether this is a Mandela or not, that'd be great. But yeah, um, the N and the I have always been connected, and it's, by the way, it's, it's little N, little I, little C, little E, and then apostrophe N, little N, right? And then all, it's all lowercase. Um, it's hard to tell whether the other ones are connected. So let me just pull up a quick logo. I had to pull up a commercial from... The, the earlier ones don't show the letters like this in the 90s. 1990s. Uh, let's see. Images. Okay. So you see here. The N and the I are joined. Teresa Lynch just found this one, and the A is sort of bent to the side. Um, anyway, it's a little bit different. Um, sort of related to the Atari. Uh, there it goes. The AI doesn't want me to find it. Look at that. Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Okay, nothing wrong with that. What I'm complaining about, I, I already did a video, by the way. The P, actually, the A, I remember being more like an A, and the M had little slits in it here. It looked more like an M, and the N as well. The A, the A's are triangles now. So that's kind of related to Atari. And then we have Sega. Uh, this was brought up last night uh, at our live event. The A has always been a broken triangle in this reality. I should probably trace this while we're at it. Let's see, Sega... Uh, I know it's kind of not so um, accurate. Okay. And the E. Yeah. We're in the wee hours of the morning here. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see. All right, there we go. Let's see, there's a little one. Hmm. And the A right here. Definitely different. Not, I mean, I, I'm remembering sort of the A across here. What do you guys remember with that one? Uh, let's see. It's kind of like this uh, U.S. Postal Service. And I wanted to, to sort of relate all this together. Um, I, I remember uh, Moneybags did a video on this one a while back. And the A's were broken and they were um, triangles like just like this. But what I didn't notice was that the R was broken. I don't remember the R being broken. Tell me what you guys remember. That might be a new one. Uh, let's see. Spalding. Uh, this is more sports related. So I'll probably cover this in the next video. 
Uh, again, thanks guys for checking me out. Have a great Mandela effect night. God bless.